Greetings, Saber X. Nano is here. Another installment of our little Jarkai series. Uh, we got my apprentice here, Ben. He will be helping me today. Uh, we're going to talk about today you, how you're going to use two sabers kind of in conjunction with each other. Because the trick is, is using them as separate weapons as a unit. Okay? You don't want to use them as one weapon, and you don't necessarily want to use them as two separate weapons, but you want to you kind of use them in conjunction with each other as if they are one weapon that has these extra bits of uh, functionality. Okay, so first of all, <clears throat> go over a couple of common things that we see uh, people doing first time with uh, two sabers. Okay? Um, the first one, and I mentioned this in our first our first installment here is the X block. Okay, you see this in movies, you see this in cartoons a lot, and a lot of people do this. It looks neat. It's, it's very cool. Um, <clears throat> there is a problem with it though, as as we're here, and I have X block up here. Now both of my sabers are tied up. If he starts moving them around, then that becomes, <clears throat> you know, difficult. I have. He's essentially. That's fine. If you're here, you can get it better. Okay, so if I stand over here so they can see the thing, when I'm up here like this, right, and I'm there, I've got both of my sabers on his, right? He can move both of my sabers. Now, there are times when you will cross your sabers, and that is totally okay. It's not necessarily something you're going to find an opportunity to do all the time. Um, you can try to shoe, shoehorn it in there, but I wouldn't say it's the, the most successful strategy. But anyway, if you get caught unawares and you end up coming up and you have both sabers on theirs, it's a very simple matter to simply take the weaker one out and now you have an open, an open target. So a little bit quicker like that, and then it comes out there. Now, of course, I could come down here and get it on this side, right? If I'm here, there, right there. But the point is, is that I'm not marrying my sabers to each other, okay? Now, the other thing that we often see is double slashes, doubling up on these things like this, okay? <clears throat> not great. We don't want to here like this. The other thing that we see is a one at a time kind of thing. Okay. That's a little bit better than using them at the same time, like this. Because again, if I if he parries this, he has both of my swords and he's just gonna push it over there and get me. Alright? So what do you do instead? Well, obviously the the, the first thing that you want to do and the way that you're going to try to finish any exchange is by using one saber to block and parry and the other one to attack almost simultaneously, often one tempo as, as the Europeans would say. So as he comes in, I'm going to parry with this upper one and attack with this lower one. That doesn't give him a whole lot of chance to retaliate. He can come in from any direction, right, like that, and it's going to, I'm, I'm still going to be the same thing. So he comes in again, right, like that. Now, that's not necessarily always going to happen. If he's very quick, right, and he sees that, I have to then start using them kind of in tandem one after the other, right? I'm probably going to try to open up exchanges by testing it with one, right? And looking for a suitable way to get that second blade in there. So that's one way that we're gonna do it. However, we're not keeping this one just kind of dangling there and doing nothing. It's over here, so they always know it's there. Remember, always splitting attention, right? So when I'm coming in here and I'm doing this, there's this thing over here, which is good, okay? So, all right? Now notice, 
that he got me right there because I'm going one at a time. What I should have done is as I'm here, right, is on one come in at the same time. If he parries that one, now the one that was originally parrying can attack. That requires me to switch focus, right? On one hand, this is the attacking one. This is the defending one. Now this one's the attacking one. Oh, now we're out of stream. <clears throat> okay. So if I come in like this, right there, now, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Right? If I come one at a time, he can parry them. That's great. One, two, one, two, three, four. And then sometimes you can do that. One, two, ha. Just hold this up, let him go for it. Right? I can come in here. Just by bringing this up, I don't even have to parry. He can come in for the parry, and I can kind of attack it. So you're kind of constantly switching between thinking of them as two things, right? And then thinking of them as one thing, right? So when you get into the forms and you get into the drills, a lot of it's going to be doing that. Moving together but separately, right? Coordination, not necessarily hard connection. All right? Okay, well, thank you, Ben, for helping me out. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful and enjoyable. Please share and subscribe, like, and uh, join us on Facebook. Until next time, have a great day. Happy savory.